Hey everybody, I decided I wanted to show you a couple of things. I know we have a lot of people that are new to Voise and uh, it does get a little bit confusing once you get into the, the mixer, into the editing of, of different effects. So today I wanted to start off uh, first of all with, so there is a new update as uh, Song Dreamer informed me uh, with her very, very cool Voise that she did. Uh, with one of my beats and I appreciate her for doing that uh, and that got me on this and I've been thinking about doing this for a long time because uh, I hear a lot of uh, newcomers that might not have ever worked in a studio or anything like that and like if you're outside or you're in a car and you're, you're driving around uh, or just you have background noise there's kids in the back and so on and, and different things you can get rid of some of that background noise with the cleanup so you hear you hear the, that, that hissing it's kind of going away except when I'm talking so when I'm talking then in, and I'm speaking loudly then you don't hear it uh, either because it's under my voice but as soon as I stop talking it's gone now you can also turn up higher than, than the volume goes with the compress function. So the higher you go, the more louder it is. So, but you have to be careful with that and so on. So this is on the dynamics button on top. The next uh, tab is gonna be tune. And tune is auto tune, which we all know and love. Uh, anybody can sing as soon as they turn the auto tune on and it, it gives a lot of people the, the uh, ability to, to let themselves go and do it. Yeah, so me too. And uh, if you want to use more than one voice, the harmony voices, the higher you put it, the more harmonies and the more power you have uh, of the harmonies being pushed in. So that's pretty cool. Uh, then we're going to go to pitch, which is the new part that they've added uh, so you can do these different characters. I think I can speak like this. You can speak like this. So, blend on the bottom of that one. If I turn it all the way off, this is uh, only my voice. Let's say I put part of it low. So the higher I go, the further I go into this character. That's only the character. It's only that character until I go here. Now those are like presets. So when you go to pitch, and you can do it yourself. Let's say I want to go here and I want to... I used to call it Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. And uh, Barry White. So yeah, as, as being a DJ, that's how I would explain to myself uh, if I turn the record up too fast or if I turn it down too low. So Mickey Mouse and Barry White. So then the tone, you have a filter. So here, it's like, it's basically like an equalizer, but a little bit more because it filters it. Uh, so your lows, the bass is going to go out of your voice. And here the highs are going to go out of your voice. So the best place for that filter is somewhere in the middle. Modulation is like a uh, flanging effect or a panning. So that means you left and right are moving back and forth. That's why you hear it when I'm speaking, the way that goes. All right. And then you have your space. Space is basically your echo. Echo. Your echo. Echo. Your echo. echo. What? 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 Hello. 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 Yeah. Get goofy with it. And your reverb. So these you have to be careful with not to use too much, otherwise people won't understand what you're saying or singing. So you can turn them up a little bit and try them out. What's always cool about this is uh, that you can try the beat first. Let me put, just put a, a simple effect on here. Turn down some of the effects in it. And then as you see, 
My voice is nice and loud. To clean up, uh, put it to about 55. 55. So if you're speaking loud enough or singing loud enough, it's not going to cut off. But when you're talking quietly, then it can get like a little bit that you get cut out, that you get cut outs. Okay. So now let's get to the music. So here is where you can try your different uh, effects. Yeah! Oh! Not a singer. Beats are what I do. But uh, even on this app, it's giving me the ability to do, do some oohs and ahs sometimes, which is okay. So, I hope this has, been, hope helpful. This has been helpful, and when you're ready to record, you just push the microphone button, but do all your practicing just with the play button, so you can figure it out what you want to do. Sometimes you might want to not post each and every uh, layer that you're doing, each and every box. You might just want to have uh, the final one, so you don't have to make it uh, a public until you're ready. So I'm going to go ahead and record a voicey now, describing uh, what this is and where people will be able to find it. I guess it should be a little cleaner. Yeah, we'll do it like, we'll this. Do it like this. That way I can put it in. Can put it in. All, right. All right. All right. Then, then thanks, thanks for checking, thanks out, checking out, out what's going on, on here. And hopefully this hopefully helps, this a, little helps bit. a little bit. If it does, if it does uh, uh, leave a comment leave a for me. For me. Ooh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's your man DJ Super Jam, and I just want to let you know that I have just created a tutorial that is going to be on my YouTube channel. That's youtube.com backslash DJ Super Jam. And there you'll be able to see some of the functions that you might not know about that are on the mixer. You can do your edits and so on, and maybe it'll help you out. Uh, I know we got a lot of newcomers that are trying to figure this uh, Boise uh, studio out, so hopefully this helps you. So don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe.